بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحمده ونصلي على رسول الكريم أما بعد We don't know if this may be our last Ramadan. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us the opportunity, the health, the wealth, the luxuries, the comfort, the afiyat. So this should be a moment, an occasion to excel in ibadah, an opportunity to capitalize for our akhirah. While the water is calm, while the waves are still normal, we should be obeying Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If ever there's a need, then we shouldn't be like the mudakkar has made circumstantial. In all this warnings and signs has been mentioned before Qiyamah, the coming of Dajjal, etc. These are all minor signs for preparation for the big sign. So it's been mentioned because a person needs to recollect and check that if I'm in engage in any of these, then when the big sign comes, what will happen? If I'm a sign of Qiyamah, what answer will I give Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of Qiyamah? So these are small fitan compared to the big fitna which is still to come. And that's why Nabi alayhi salam said, مَثَلِي وَمَثَلُكُمْ كَمَثَلِي رَجِلٍ أَوْقَدَ نَارًا Like a person who is lit a fire, فَجَعَلَ الْجَنَادِبُ وَالْفَرَشْ All the insects and that were thronging to the fire. Like that, وَأَنَا أَخِذُمْ بِحُجَزِكُمْ عَنِ النَّارِ You are like those insects running to that fire. I'm holding you by your waist. I'm trying to pull you away. Means my Quran and my Sunnah is there to protect you from all the fires of this world, the fitness of this world, the darkness of this world, and the bigger darkness and fire of Akhirat. I am there. Another And in those days when there was armies coming to attack a certain city, there was an invasion, and the villagers that were on the outskirts seen these, the dust, and the horsemen coming, they would go onto the nearest mountain peak, remove the kurta, the cloth, and wave it to warn. So anybody else would see, would do the same thing until the message would go to the entire tribe, and they will prepare for the invasion. And then Nadirul Uriyan, the battle and the fitness of dunya. I am warning you for that. So wise are the people that listen to the warning make preparation and adequately prepare for engagement for dunya and akhirat. Nabi alayhi salam has come for a mercy and a rahmah lil alameen. He's a benefit for our dunya and our akhirat. So we need to hold steadfast why Allah has given us this opportunity. We've done three signs previously. Number four, وَالَّذِي نَفْسِي بِيَدِي لَا تَقُمُ السَّعَةُ حَتَّى تُكَلَّمَ الْسِبَاعُ وَالْإِنْسِ Until animals will speak. Animals will speak. So uh, commentators have went into details in the past where who've spoke, etc, etc, which is one meaning. The other meaning is in today's times which we can understand whether it's Disney and they're making animals speak and mice speak and ducks speak and turtles speak, or whether it's gaming or other worlds, like the Pokemon, etc., or whether it's cartoons, or whatever else it is, all these animals are speaking. If we have to just even just search on wiki one-eyed creatures, from myth to science fiction, to comics, to video games, all of them have creatures, forget animals alone, but animals that have one eye, already preparation has been made. Nabi alayhi salam warned us, and we are seeing that, but it's insignificant because it's become so normal. Like that person who went to work for a tannery and he complained to his wife, the smell is very vile. I can't handle this job, I need to quit. First day he complained, second day after five days, the complaints became less. They say within a month, he was happy with his job because the smell became part of him. Battle, darkness, fitna will become so common that it will be second nature. Number four. Number five. Hatta takallama rujulu azbatu sawtihi wa shiraku na'lihi That a person's wap and his shoelace will speak. Again, the Zahiri apparent meaning can be followed 
Ulama had also explained that in today's times it's very easy to understand these things. Obviously, Nabi Ali Salam was in a desert explaining to Sahaba 1400 years ago. How do you explain tech? So he used simple examples for people in the time when it happens, they can relate to it. If we look today, aerials, a means of communication, those aerials are a mean. Now we're picking up the signal. And now our technology, whether it's TV, whether it's radios, whether it is, is speaking. Inorganic matter, which will speak. Suppose we had animals speaking. Now inorganic matter is speaking. Speakers, it's dead, it's metal, it's, it's uh, speaking. And then if you think deeper, a whoop and a shoelace. A shoelace is to tie something up. These fitnas that will come that will be speaking will tie you up, it will engage you, it will make you busy, it will trap you. And a whoop is to control people. Batil, Dajjal, Shaitan, the forces of evil will come and they will control you. They will control you. Number six. وَتُخْبِرَهُ بِمَا أَحْدَثَ أَهْلُهُ بَعْدَهُ And these things will speak to such an extent تُخْبِرَهُ فَخِضُهُ His thigh will speak. So one is the real meaning, one is when you keep your cell phone in your pocket. So Nabi alayhi salam is saying, it will even tell you what's happening in your house, what your wife, what your children are doing. That cell phone, when we take it out, we speak in real time, we see what's happening. Or person connects to CCTV camera, he can see exactly what's happening. And Ajib, Nabi alayhi salam said, Thai, computers, the small ones, are called laptops. Your lap is your thigh. Now you sit in with your laptop and you seen what's happening in home, you seen what's happening in the world, you seen the news of everything around you is happening. So these are fitan which Nabi alayhi salatu wasalam has warned us. So as done previously, we will be bombarded. There will be a plethora of fitness to such an extent that it will engulf you. Darkness will overpower you everywhere. It will go even to the Kaaba, it will come to Masjid al-Nabawi, it will come into your houses. The same battle of technology, where in front of the Baytullah there is music and there is haram blasting with those ringtones, where people don't even get importance to ibadat, but the importance to selfies and taking pictures. So let's become more than the Amal. That, though that fitna has come to our houses, our own children have become renegade, spouses are having secret affairs, 0.5 divorces are through Facebook, you hooked up with a friend in old acquaintance, A, B, C, D, E, swipe yes, no. With a swipe of a finger to a person can commit zina, and he can cover it up. There are apps made to cover up all of this, the organizations made to cover up all of this, so that the battle can increase. Husbands, and we get in these cases, that's not the place to mention it, but just to get an idea, husbands are forcing their wives to do bizarre and barbaric actions. That's because of their addiction with pornography, threesomes, etc. We have had incidents where girls have been blackmailed to do the worst things because she sent a picture of herself. I'll expose you. There are syndicates in our much Muslim children and they have a target that who can get more intimate with a girl and take a picture, they will get a high ranking. Until we don't hold on to the Quran and Sunnah more than we hold on to the computer, the laptop, the desktop. The tablet, it's a medication, it's a tablet. The medication of shaitan and iblis. We cannot see khair happening. Nabi Islam has warned us. 
and zarurat. We have to use it, no problem. But baqadr ya zarurat. What's the necessity? Like Maulana Yusuf rahmatullah used to say, bayan in tabligh is like the huta in a car or tongue in the body. The huta in the car, you use it when there is a need, when, when there is necessity. Our children, our investment for generations. Am I happy for them engaging so that they can secure dunya and I'm in the qabr and I will suffer? Or am I engaging my children in amal, in sunnah, in deen? Because you must remember, it's not just your one child, it's their child and their child generations. You are creating a foundation for future. So that lies in our hands. So the final goal of Iblis is Outwardly do what you want to, but inside I'll control your heart. Like Nuh alayhi salam was told by Shaitan, لِيُسِيبَ قُلُوبَ أَصْحَابِكَ Their hearts will be with you. Maaf. فَتَكُونُ قُلُوبُهُمْ مَعِي وَأَجْسَادُهُ مَعَكْ That their hearts will be with me, but their bodies will be with you. No. All your inhabitants are yours, but I want their hearts. I will take their hearts so much. يَبِعُ دِينَهُ بِعَرْضٍ مِنْ دُنْيَا He'll sell his deen. Make hijrat for dunya. You're in a mahal of deen. You're in a place of deen. You're in a sahabat of ulama. Go to places where there's no deen, no masajid. That person eventually will sell his deen. In the morning he's a mu'min. In the evening he's a kafir. Giving more importance to dunyawi knowledge than deeni knowledge. How much masail of deen do I know? Importance and the hearts are controlled by the Hollywood and Bollywood stars. Are they, are they in our hearts? Are the sports stars in our hearts? Musicians. The aerials outside our houses I make a sign. No entry for farishtas. No entry for the Rahmatullah. No entry for the mercy of Allah. More than a billion arrows yes, in the heart of Janabi Rasulullah All these instruments in our houses are encouraging it. The shaitan does not need the physical idol, but more the metaphorical idol. Ibrahim alayhi salam, when he came, there were idols in the Baytullah. So shaitan, those is physically put the idols. They didn't need to do idol worship. Nabi alayhi salam, there were idols in the Kaaba. People were making sajda, making ibadat. Anbiya brought the effort of hidayat, the effort of nur, to wipe out batit. Now shaitan doesn't need to make zahiri effort. He'll make the batini effort. And everything, the, the plan is to bring mankind onto his platform, his wavelength. So to make everything electronic, from whether it's uh, your, 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 your money, your, your currencies, uh, 1971 when, when Nixon did away with the, the gold standard and he suspended that system and he, uh, and he applied the free floating fiat currencies to bring the world onto an electronic system data so that they can control people because when you know somebody you control them people are worried about tracking and shops forget the shops it's uh, an app that you download in normally android system apple system has already tracking apps in then from the medical side when the child will show people health and sickness, now we need to vaccinate you. We have a cure. But ultimately, to put ingredients, let us do some research. There's pork derived products in vaccines, whether it's influenza, from a, whether it's from measles, mumps, chicken pox. All these vaccines are there to put haram into a believer so he cannot obey Allah and his du'as won't be accepted. Isa alayhi salam will come and kill pigs. But more than that, all these items of batil which have the shaitaniyat and the pork inside it, like a simple thing like a vaccine, Isa alayhi salam will wipe out all of these things. So these are all lessons for the people of Iman that uh, nowadays more worse than tobacco and addictions, if these people, the BAT and the Philip Morris of the world want your lungs, then the internet and social media wants your ruh, they want your soul. It's the new crack, it's the new coke, the new weed, the new dopamine, 
waiting for that likes, waiting for that replies, waiting for that answers. Bill Gates you say that the advance of technology is based on what? Making it fit so you don't even notice it. It becomes part of your life. It's your everyday thing. They say 4.6 billion people are using the internet. 3.7 billion on social media. The average person spends 142 minutes a day on it. 40,000 people are watching just e-games. Facebook has 2.5 billion users. 1.6 billion daily users. Instagram, 1 billion users. 50 billion photos uploaded every day. 100 million photos uploaded. 50 billion in total. People have to put a, a signboard now. In case of a fire, exit the building first before tweeting. Because it's the first thing everybody does. In Muslim countries, Kuwait has the highest penetration of internet users, 99.6%. In the US, from ages 18 to 29, 100% of the people use the internet. An average user spends 6.5 hours daily online. These are all darknesses. These are all the plotting of Iblis and Shaitan. And there's only one solution to turn to Allah and His Rasul. May Allah SWT give us Amal. The Amal for today and the Dua to read and which is connected to this topic is where Hazrat Ibn Umar radiallahu said and Nabi al Islam never left his words Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi dunya wal-akhirah Allahumma inni as'aluka al-afwa wal-afiyah fi dini wa dunyaya wa ahli wa mali Allahumma astur awrati wa amin ra'ati Allahumma ahfadni min bayni yadayya wa min khalfi wa an yamini wa an shimali wa min fawqi wa min tahti wa a'udhu bi'adhamika an uhtala min tahti This is a dua which Nabi alayhi salam made all the time very quickly the best dua after yatin is afiyat. It includes afiyat. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala conceal all my faults. Ya Allah, preserve all fears and calamities that can come to such an extent. Allah, protect me from all directions. Even if there is a swallowing or uh, tremors and other issues happening. Ya Allah, or oh, disgrace. Ya Allah, protect me. We need to make this dua every day, morning and evening. And the amal for today is that reading tahajjud salat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is explaining many ayat, many ahadith. In the darkness of the night, when you make dua and you ask Allah, illa a'tahu iyyah, there's a certain time where your duas are accepted. In wadalika kulla laylatin, this is a time to connect to Allah and get the time of Qabuliyat. يُحْشَرُ النَّاسِ فِي سَعِيدٍ وَاحِدٍ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ People will be gathered on one plane on a day of Qiyamah. A proclaimer will say, أَيْنَ الَّذِينَ كَانَتْ تَتَجَافَ جُنُوبُهُمْ عَنِ الْمَضَاجِ We are those people who used to separate themselves from their beds. They stood up before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَيَقُومُونَ And they will stand up. وَهُمْ خَلِيلٌ There will be very few. فَيَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ بِغَيْرِ حِسَاب they will be told, go into Jannah without Hisab Kitab wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.